Hello all, in this lecture we will see about update operations and violation of integrity constraints. So when we perform update operations on these relations, we will have to see whether violation of integrity constraints occur. So in the previous lecture we have seen what is key constraint, what is entity constraint, entity integrity constraint and referential integrity constraint. So when we do this updation operations, if those three constraints are violated or not we have to check so what happens if violation occurs what should be done so all these things will be studied in this lecture so this is a outline of this thing update operations so mainly we have three types of update operations we have insert operation that is if we want to insert a particular tuple into a relation then delete so we have if we want to delete a particular tuple from a table then modify if we want to update some values then we call it as modify operation or modify or update so this can also be considered as modify or update so actually these three form the update operations in general so first one is insert a tuple so if you want to insert a new row into that table then second is delete a tuple if you want to delete a tuple or delete a row from the table or uh, modify a tuple if you want to modify a tuple a particular table uh, if we take some row and if we want to update some values if we want to change the value of name phone number like that we call it as modify so these are the three uh, update operations that we use in relations so when we perform these three operations the integrity constraints should not be violated by these update operations so that is an important thing we should not violate the integrity constraints. So the previous lectures we have already seen three constraints. So those three constraints should not be violated when we perform these three update operations. So several update operations may have to be grouped together. In certain cases uh, we may have to group all these uh, operations together. If there are three insert, two up, uh, delete, one modification then in some cases we will be grouping it together as a single transaction. So in certain cases, we'll be grouping it together. So updates may propagate to cause other updates automatically. So when we update a particular table or when we modify a particular row or tuple, so that updation may have to pro be propagated to other tables also. For example, if you are changing uh, the person's phone number in a particular table, that might be connected to some other table also. So we have to modify all those relations. Okay, that is why that is what is mentioned in this sentence. Updates may propagate to cause other updates automatically. So in case if integrity violation occurs, what should be done? So there are possibilities when we perform all these operations, insertion, deletion, modification integrity constraints might be violated so if violation occurs integrity violation occurs so there are several actions that can be taken first case is we can cancel the operation that causes the violation that is we will reject that so that by insertion if you are trying to insert and if there is some violation we will reject it we will cannot we cannot uh, the user will not be allowed to do that operation so this is the first action that can be taken Another action can be taken, perform the operation but inform the user that there is a violation. Then we can take other actions like trigger additional updates so the violation is corrected. We call it as cascade option, we learn about this cascading and all when we learn as, as this SQL and all. Or set null option is there, sometimes you will set it to null. If there is some violation, we will simply set that value to null. So we call it as triggering operation okay then or else we can execute a user specified error correction routine so sometimes what we do is user will specify if this kind of violation occurs then this is the actions that should be taken so the so user will specify so there are various ways by which we can uh, tackle this integrity violation constraint depends on the context so this is the example we'll be taking we have already seen this table so this is the employee a company database we have already seen this is the diff these are the different relations in it and we have already seen foreign key and referential integrity all these things we have seen so this is 
so the table with uh, values we are so we will be taking the same example and see what type of violations will occur in these tables okay so we will see some insertion violation uh, examples so we are trying to insert so if we take into an employee table so this is an employee relation we are going to insert whatever in the angle brackets so comma separation means this will be the first column this is the second column this is the third column fourth like that it will go on okay so we will first see the table so this is the employee table so first one is first name m-i-n-t middle initial then l name ssn so in this table what type of violation can occur when we insert so first is key constraint here ssn is a key constraint so that constraint should not be violated and also uh, if there is some uh, referential integrity that constraint should not also be not violated so you will see here in this example if you see uh, the third field it is given as null so that is a violation that is a key constraint violation because key ssn ssn is given as null value so third is actually ssn value so this cannot be null because it is a primary key it is a violation so the first example this is a violation this cannot be done so reason is this insertion violates the entity integrity constraint so we are entering null for the primary key ssn so it is rejected so it will be rejected so no other action will be taken we will simply reject it because ssn can never be null then this is another example we are trying to insert alicia j here 998777 is used so we are not inserting ssn uh, null value uh, we are everything is correct but there is a problem here so we will see the problem here is actually 999877 we will see this table if you check this table we have already the same ssn value so we cannot give the same ssn value to some other person so that is also a violation because ssn is primary so it should be unique so that is also a violation so this will also be rejected reason is this insertion violates the key constraint because another tuple with the same ssn value already exists in the employee relation so it is rejected okay then we will see another example here Cecilia everything is right uh, six this is a new SSN value so this is not violation everything is correct but there is a problem seven seven it is actually department number department number is a foreign key so that foreign key should be the primary key of some other table so if we take this tables department there is no seven department number here so we cannot have a department number 7 for that employee because there is no department with a department number 7. So that is also a violation, referential integrity violation constraint. Okay. So this is a thing. This insertion violates the referential integrity constraint specified on department number in employee because no corresponding reference tuple exists in department with department number okay so this is actually a violation it is not acceptable then another case Cecilia if this is right this is a new SSN value everything is perfect 4 is also there it is also good. this insertion satisfies all constraints so it is acceptable so this is how it takes so it will check whether it violates any of those three constraints before insertion okay then we will see another example with deletion examples so delete the works on tuple vf essn and p number so this deletion can ha is acceptable deletes exactly one tuple then if we try to delete the employee tuple with ssn equal to uh, 99887 it violates because it is linked to some other tables so there is some referential integrity this deletion is not acceptable because there are tuples in works on table works on relation that refer to this tuple uh, so if we delete that employee then what happens is referential integrity violation happens that is if you try to delete uh, ssn with uh, from the employee table with this value so that what we are trying to do is we are trying to delete this alicia 
but if we try to this um, uh, delete this employee then there is a violation occurs in this table because we have some projects under that person so we cannot delete this person from this table so there's a violation okay so that is why this deletion cannot happen then we try to delete employee with ssn334455 we will see that thing 33455 if we try to delete this franklin uh, t wong this cannot be done because this ssn is he is a manager of some research department so a violation occurs here similarly here in this table also we have works on project under him there are three projects uh, four projects that are running so there is a violation there also here he has some dependence also he has three dependence also so there is violation so if you try to delete this employee then there is referential integrity violation here so we cannot perform this violation deletion also okay then the third type of modification or uh, update operation is modify operation okay modify operation so if you try to update the salary of the employee tuple with ssn uh, 987 to 28,000 so it is there is no problem this result is acceptable we can change the salary there is no violation then update the department number of the employee tuple with SSN 21 so this is also acceptable because one there is D number equal to one D number we have a one called uh, department it is some administration or some department is there with department number so there is no problem there is no violation update the department number of the employee with ssn equal to 27 so this is a violation because there is no department with 7 so it violates referential integrity this cannot be done this is another example update the ssn of the employee with ssn equal to this one so if the same ssn is not there then there is no problem this is unacceptable because it violates primary key constraints because there is another employee uh, with there is another employee with the same SSN so we cannot change this SSN to this SSN because there is another employee having the same SSN value if we try to change then it is violation of primary key constraint so I have given included another exercise in this thing you can uh, what you have to do is discuss all integrity constraints violated by each of these operations if any and the different ways of enforcing these constraints so you have to look into this same table here so you have to go through the same table uh, this is employee department and department locations and we have works on project and department so you have to use these tables and try to do this exercise okay so what you have to do is you have to try to insert something onto the employee we have to check whether there is violation of any of these three constraints then there is another insert we have to insert into project table we have to check whether there is any violation then this is insert into department table this thing then insert something into works on table this is another insert operation onto dependent table then we have delete from works on top uh, with the yes so we are trying to delete some tuple with the yes and equal to tuple we have to mention whether there is any violation here we are trying to de uh, delete the employee with tuple with this SSN value we have to find whether there is any violation there then we have to try to delete the project tuple with p name equal to product x from the table then we are trying to modify the manager SSN and manager start date of the department tuple with department number 5 to 1 2 3 and we are trying to change the department table value we are changing the department number 5 manager ssn and manager start date to some other value okay then modifying the super ssn attribute of a particular employee from this one to this one so we have to check whether there is any constraint violation so one more question is there modify the hours attribute of the works on tuple with the ssn to then PA number to 10 to 5. We have to change the uh, hours attribute. Okay. So you can try with the example. So all this 11 you try and find out if there is any violation on the table, on the constraints, on the three constraints we have studied. Key constraint, entity integrity constraint and referential integrity constraint. 
So you check all these 11 with the previous example. So this is a reference. Thank you.